It is 5.38 in the a.m. on day number two of the Colorado road trip. I am leaving the Three Palms Inn, or whatever it's called, Three Palms Resort and Spa, which is really an upgraded old school motel, but they have upgraded it very nicely. I was quite happy here. Uh, the purpose of this particular clip is to let you know that even at 5.38, 5.39 now in the AM, it is already almost 90 degrees. Uh, by the feel of it, I haven't looked at the actual numbers, but I would guess the humidity is at roughly 100,000 billion percent, and I'm sweating just getting on the bike this morning, so... And now i got to ride into this as it crests the horizon. It's going to be a, a hot day today. To help me find my way, I've got my root tattooed onto my jacket sleeve here. Just kidding, it's not a tattoo. One of the things I really like about these um, touring jackets is that they come with a little window on the sleeve where you could put relevant information, maps, directions, stuff like that to help find your way in instances where you're out of cell phone range, for example, which I plan to be for most of the day because I figure in the backcountry mountainous areas of Arizona and New Mexico, I'm not going to have a lot in the way of cell phone or GPS ability, so I figured I'd write the directions down myself and try and do the best I can without relying on the tech. See how that <laughs> works out. going on here. I absolutely hate when this happens. Civil engineers, what the fuck are you doing? Oh my god, that sun is a beast! I'm gonna be in a little bit of a rush here filling up because yesterday... Sorry, I'm trying to do multiple things at once. Oh, that's unnerving. It did not ask me to verify my zip code. Anyways, what was I? Where was I? Okay, so my various mapping apps told me that uh, the trip time from the LA area out to Phoenix was going to be roughly five and a half hours, and it took me over seven hours. And that I can't think of any other reason for that than the fact that I did a lot of screwing around at gas stations and getting lunch. So I'm trying to keep these trips a little shorter. Sorry, not the trips, these stops a little shorter. So as I can make my total trip time shorter. But, you know, that's just, I'm going to keep the screwing around, screwing around to a minimum. I still want to stretch and rest and make sure I'm fresh and, you know, comfortable to do the riding that I need to do. I got to say, I'm pretty surprised by the gas prices out here. I expect them to be gouging you pretty good out in the middle of nowhere, but it's actually cheaper here than it was in LA and like in Phoenix is one thing or Albuquerque where I'm headed you know I expect the gas prices in those areas to be a little lower than LA but out here in the sticks I'm used to them sticking it to you that's what they do in California when you're out in the middle of nowhere but I guess they're uh, they don't do that here got another little surprise from the weather this morning too uh, I guess in Phoenix proper, which is where I was checking the weather, it is over 90 already and super humid. But once you get out of town and get up into the mountains here, it gets pretty chilly. So I was really scared about riding in the heat, but again, like the last, how long, like almost an hour and a half I've been riding, my hands have been cold, the wind has been pe piercing my jacket. It's actually pretty chilly. And, you know, to the point my hands are almost getting numb on the handlebars, so that's, that's quite a surprise. Gave myself a little bit of a scare on the way out this morning, too. Uh, what happened was, uh, usually I use my trip meter sort of as a supplemental uh, gas gauge to let me know 
basically how you know how many miles I've done and how many more miles I expect to be able to do on a tank given the average MPG that my bike is capable of doing and what happened was I on this trip uh, I'm using my uh, trip meter resetting it fairly often to give myself an idea of when my next turn is going to be coming up and I forgot that I was doing that and since I re I'm resetting it a bit more often in order to uh, sorry I got pay attention to where I am here so I don't get lost but since I'm using my trip meter uh, to read mile mileages between uh, turnoffs for highways instead of for mileage it was showing that I had done fewer miles than normal even though I had used like half a tank of gas and I started freaking out because I thought like I was leaking gas or something and I was in the middle of absolutely nowhere like in the mountains so I was getting pretty nervous it took me like a half an hour of panic before I finally remembered I was using my trip meter as a navigational aid and not an MPG aid. And then I realized everything was going to be okay. I must admit, this is not what I had in mind when I was thinking of Arizona scenery. They've got proper forests, proper greenery up here in the mountains of Arizona at least. They got deserts too, but, you know, I didn't know they had places like this in the Midwest. So, it's kind of, it's nice. It's making the ride much more enjoyable to have a little bit of variety to the scenery. you expect to run into traffic typically but geez I guess I just can't escape it I am freezing cold by the way my hands are in that zone between where they're like painful and numb I'm actually pretty excited for the warm weather to come back one thing I've got to say I'm pretty happy about actually is that the, the trip meter on this bike seems super accurate uh, in relation to what my mapping apps have told me. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm trying not to rely on GPS, so I just wrote down all the mileages on a sheet of paper. And I'm sort of going based off of that, you know, I expect after 52 miles I'm going to come up on this road, or after 6 miles I'm going to come up on that road. And the little trip meter on my bike has been super accurate. The reason that's surprising to me is because the speedometer on this bike is devastatingly inaccurate and you'd think if the speedometer was off then the trip meter would also be off but that ain't so but I'm happy about it because it's been accurate all like uh, much to within like a tenth or a couple of tenths on 50 to 70 mile stretches which is pretty impressive it also means my tire inflation is correct like my tires are inflated to the correct pressure, which is good to know, I guess. Beep, beep, boop, de bloop. Shoot, de bloop, what? Shoot, de bloop. Wow. This must be what they talk about when they say wide open spaces. That stretch through the forest was pretty cool, I gotta say. I really loved that state route. What is it? Arizona State Route. 87 up to State Route 260 to State Route 277 to State Route 377 to State Route 77 to I-40 is a beautiful stretch of road. I'm very happy I took the route that I did because it was beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Today is much better of a ride than yesterday ended up being. I think uh, the weather was not being nice to me yesterday. The crosswinds I was dealing with were just a tremendous pain. The heat wasn't even that bad. It was really just the wind that made everything miserable. Today has been much better. Uh, I'm, I, I'm, a, uh, uh, I'm about halfway done with today's miles. And uh, I smell smoke. And I don't know if you can tell the video, but it's pretty murky out. It's like brown haze. So there's a fire somewhere around here. But 
but overall today's going much better already so I hope this keeps up for the rest of the at least the rest of the day uh, but uh, I think the rest is going to be a long highway slog so I'll catch up with you guys in Albuquerque exactly know what's going on basically my camera stopped working I couldn't figure out why so I pulled over here which incidentally turned out to be an awesome uh, photo stop uh, but basically uh, when I plug my camera in to my jacket and to my bike so that it'll charge and record at the same time which is what I've been doing for years and years uh, it doesn't work and I believe I have narrowed the culprit down to the cables themselves. I've had a problem similar to this before where one of the cables basically was starting to go bad. And when you use USB, you know, USB cables, if you didn't know, uh, USB cables are not really meant for industrial use, such as frequent outdoor use or... Uh, everyday use where they get moved around a lot like they do on the back of my helmet when I use them this way. So, you know, they're meant to be plugged into a computer and kind of left there, I think. And basically I, I, I seem to be going through USB cables at a pretty high rate of speed. Maybe a couple of them a year. And unfortunately one of them died in the middle of this trip, so now what I've got to do is make sure I turn the camera on to record and then just turn it back off when I'm done so I don't kill the battery and maybe go fishing for new cables in Albuquerque. I just love this. How can you not love this? Well, I mean, I guess I can see how you might not love it, but I love it. I don't know how well this is going to come out on video, but do you, if you can see that haze over the horizon over here, it looks kind of like clouds, but I don't think it is. I think it's smoke. I believe I'm coming up on another fire. It looks like we're about to drive right into it. The reason I think it's fire and not clouds is because there are a few distinct pillars coming up off of the bottom of it that look like plumes of smoke. and They're like black, they're darker, they're like dark gray be able to see one of them over on the right there and then it kind of like looks like it's originating over there on the right and then sort of like drifting off to the left. It's looking a little sketchy. The highway turned away from this smoky plume but you can see it a little more clearly as I get closer. That's pretty obviously a fire. And it looks like it's off to the right but the smoke is 
like drifting all across here, like all the way around. Either it's smoke drifting or there are so many fires that the entire, like this whole half of the horizon is veiled in smoke. There she is, Albuquerque, in all her deserty glory.